Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joe Hartnett and this is the first ever vlog that I've ever done. So I'm super nervous because I've been thinking about this for quite a while now and I thought, look, let's get a camera. We're a few days away now from 2017 and let's get documenting really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you pretty much everything, whether that be in my personal or my business life. But I'll be totally honest on how we work in WeTransfer and what we tend to do is and kind of show you pretty much everything that I do. So you're probably wondering who I am, what I do. I'm a full-time property investor and also a property sourcer. So what that basically means is I help newbies or highly experienced investors find property opportunities. So I'm gonna literally document everything, whether that be purchasing, flipping, sourcing, you name it, going to meetings, everything that I do. And I'm gonna use YouTube to hold myself accountable. So I hope you kind of enjoy it really and kind of enjoy the ride enjoy everything that I'm doing, you know, obviously put a comment down below, give us a like, let us know what you think, and um, let's get into the first vlog and um, let me know what you think. Enjoy. Hi guys, how you doing? So I'm going to make a few calls now to a few vendors that I've been following up um, over the last few months, weeks, and just sort of touching base with them, really kind of seeing where they're at, you know, just keeping sort of my company and my name in the forefront of their mind. So when it does come to, you know, potentially accepting an offer, it's my one that they take. Obviously, they're mo they are all still on the market. So in a sense, there's motivation level, I wouldn't say they're ultra hot in wanting to, you know, take an offer now. But I know time will slowly, you know, creep up on them and some of them will make have to make a decision. And obviously we're here to help them because obviously we can move extremely quick and get everything over the line within a matter of weeks. So it's just a case of sort of reminding them who I am, sort of letting them know I'm here, obviously being polite really, obviously wishing them a happy new year, Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. And just, you know, letting them know that I will be calling them again in the new year. I will be following up. They will hear from me again, you know. So it's just it's just a case of it's just more rapport building really, and just yeah, just keeping on top of your CRM system, which I think is key. It's just and if that with any sales role, no matter if it's what I do or any job that you're in, it's just you know even if you haven't got anything for your client or anything like that, there's nothing wrong with just putting in a call and just seeing how they're getting on. You know, um, people like I always say people like to buy from people that they like. So it is a case of just saying hello, seeing how, how they're doing, how's their Christmas shopping going. I know these aren't calls that I would normally make, obviously within the normal year, but it's a call that I'll be making just to kind of see, you know, because in, in, in the year I wouldn't be asking these sort of questions. I mean, uh, I think you don't want to spend too much time rapport building, because um, obviously, you know, it doesn't really make too, you know, a huge amount of sense, but it's just a case of, this is, I think, the perfect time to just get that extra bit of rapport in there. So, when it, like I said before, when it comes to making that decision, they'll hopefully give me a shout. So, let's crack on with a few calls, see how we get on. Um, we've got a shootout later today. Uh, I've got a meeting with Tom. Um, I think Alistair and a few guys might might be there. It's just going to go up to the WeWork office. And then we're also going to um, a Christmas sort of do and also doing a, a video testimonial thing as well today so let's just crack on with these calls um i'll let you guys listen in you know see what you you think of have, have i caught you a bad time or you've got it on the market at the moment how how's it all been going so far? you've got it on at one two one two five haven't you yeah and normally we would i'll be or i could potentially offer you one two five maybe one thirty but like a delayed sale i mean that wouldn't work for you would it or now to be close to Christmas, so I don't speak to you before, we have a great Christmas, but thanks Joe from Pursue Property, I hope you're well, just giving you a quick call in regards so I don't waste your time, I mean, so maybe 80, 85, obviously subject to market condition and how long the term is that we can rent it for me for. But again, in my letter in the post and what your kind of thoughts were really, um, do you give us a call back when you can on this number to change over that time frame, then you can then potentially walk over with a bit more money or even break even, so that, 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't. I mean, it, it, it'd be silly for me to over, over, over kind of value and say I can give you ninety thousand because then they end up getting down values. It's quite a quiet time, so I think come sort of January, it will pick up a low for you. That around the eighty or ninety marks can be way too low for you. I mean, is there a, is, is there a figure that, you know, because I'll, I'll be totally honest on how we work in WeTransfer and what we tend to do is a bit of equity for speed and convenience, really. So, yeah, and normally we would, I'll be honest, normally properties around that price tend to offer around sort of 80,000 cash. Um, that's kind of where it would be at. Or I could potentially offer you 125, maybe 130, but like a delayed sale, I mean, that wouldn't work for you, would it? Or Literally leaving the offices now, just been at WeWork with the guys, uh, with Tom, with Alistair and with Chris, just in front of me here. We're on our way to uh, the Bloomsbury Hotel I believe, so um, yeah, let's do it. Social media no, video, is tiny. video is tiny. Like that's mental. Like when you think about it, mm. you know, people don't do it because people. It's so like scary for people. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know. I find it interesting. Yeah. Well, really interesting. Like video this is calling. Beginning. This is like, the beginning. Yeah. If you ask someone to jump on a video call, they'll be like, oh, I prefer to do it on the phone. Yeah. Because they don't want to. They don't want you to see them. Because yeah. they think they got to do their hair or yeah. like. Whatever. That's why no one would do that bomb bomb thing. Well, yeah, yeah, no, no, no one would do bomb bomb because they're worried about the video bomb yeah. bomb. Yeah, and the amount of times that actually have a massive impact. Yeah, if you said video, yeah, one, it's a pattern interrupt. Two, emotionally they remember you as well. Yeah, like, I heard this. Like, yeah. This is like, exactly. <laughs> But this is what I heard uh, from a guy who owns like a dating company. He said, my haters love me more than people that love me. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes, they spend the time to actually look at my posts, True. go back and look at videos, research. Okay, do you have the keys or someone meeting you? No, I'm someone to meet you. Yeah, the, is that host? Okay, cool. Just go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Yes, we've got so much sleep tonight. You have, there's four bedrooms underneath. Is that right? Oh, there's a kitchen and everything. Cool.